the time on this channel, I end up trapped in answering strange and generalized assumptions about race or ethnicity or refuting them or doing generalized history stuff. If we have any gamers in the audience, I'm sure you recognize this thing behind me, Starfield. Now, there are people with channels which attract millions of viewers who have done gigantically long reviews tearing this thing apart and have hooked their consoles up and their PCs to do live feeds of the game. I'm not going to re do that. I am one for one. I don't have the game at the moment. It will become very apparent why in a short while. Two, I could do it, but I'm more interested in talking about why I feel is the game's weakest strength narrative. Bethesda, stop churning out repetitions of the same game again and again and reskinning them. You are effectively creatively dead at this point in many ways. You are just churning out stuff. <sighs> It was bearable with Fallout 4, even though Fallout 4 was not exactly what I would call a, a stunning piece of narrative. It had some moments which were amusing and interesting, but it was still essentially a bullet time version of what Fallout, the Fallout universe is about. A, a complaint that's been put forward about Bethesda's handling of that whole franchise. But it didn't, it was bearable as a piece of fun. And it was entertaining, although it also had the issue of being almost a, a city builder with its endless clipping things together. Starfield, however, is essentially Skyrim or Fallout 4 in space. It's also Skyrim and Fallout 4 in space, with the added bonus of requiring you having a download or a physical space on your hard drive that's bigger than a very big thing. And it doesn't really seem to justify that space. We have a game that requires well over 100 gigabytes of space to stick on a hard drive. And yet, the procedural generation elements leave me cold. You can end up on a base on six different worlds and find that they all look the same, right down to things like, oh, look, that dead body is in the same place on the other bit of procedural generation. This breaks suspension of disbelief. Procedural generation can be used in interesting ways. Not here. Other people reviewing have also commented on the wonderful travel in a lift and find your back on a procedurally generated floor or area that looks virtually the same as the other floor. This rather breaks suspension of disbelief. The, also, the element of fetch cats in the game is really annoying. Yes, I can, I, there are ways you can justify it. You can assume that they don't have fast and life communications and that people have to physically deliver messages. But it just ends up with you wandering around a, a range of bland and uninteresting worlds. Mass Effect was a game set in space years ago that still transcends this thing in many ways. It has a few bits where it shines, some f flying of a ship occasionally, in an elite style, light style attempt at simulation of a sort. The building your own ship um, issues are, is entertaining, and if they put more effort into stuff like that, they could have had a great game. But there's still too much of Bethesda's general jankiness and dullness with the game. I'll admit to buying it just to see what the hype was and then returning it because I wasn't overly impressed. It's not terribly bad and it's not terribly good. It participates personifies in its own way another problem with games that are supposed to be AAA from gaming studios. Just good enough. Good enough for purpose. That's not something new to this generation of gaming either. But when you these guys are putting in huge budgets into games, they can do better. You have the recent example of Cyberpunk 2077, which came out in, well... Hot mess are probably the two words you could describe the way that thing was released. But they've actually seek to improve it and address some of the shortcomings in it and improved it to a degree that is actually somewhat playable now. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than what it started as. No Man's Sky is another example of this. That's a game made on a budget, tiny amount of Starfields, which came out with reviews that were mediocre, and they addressed the concerns. And it's slowly gained a following, and they've slowly tweaked things, improved things. This is what we want to see. 
there's no point in having a basically what's reskinned subpar Skyrim in space, a subpar sort of a, a Fallout Four in space. There's not particularly feeling of a unique universe there or a unique vision of, of space or science fiction. It's yeah, it's I can think of a titles that are twenty years old. Or, and nearly 30 years old in some cases that are far better written. System Shock would be, the original would be one example of that. Made for a budget that was would probably wouldn't even buy the coffee on Starfield's development team. And yet it still stands as a classic because it gets things the following things right. Plot, narrative, atmosphere. You feel genuinely scared at points in it. Triple A titles should not be just a means to promote sort of fancy skins for putting on controllers on consoles. They should offer something with some depth, 